Astoria is a foodie's dream when it comes to eating in New York City. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the five best places I love to eat in Astoria, Queens for breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and drinks. You do not wanna miss delicious breakfast, the best pizza, creative cocktails, traditional Greek, and the biggest cookies you've ever seen. So stick around. This is part one of a series of the best food in New York City. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for all the latest updates for when part two comes out next. Comfortland by the people that once owned Queen's Comfort is a great place to get creative breakfast, brunch, or lunch options in Astoria. Not only do they have rotating drinks, food, and desserts, their staple breakfast and lunch sandwiches keep me coming back for more. Because of the lack of outdoor seating that Comfortland currently has, I decided to take out my food, but you can definitely sit at the benches and eat your food there. So I got the vegan almond joy cold brew and I got the McGruffin breakfast sandwich with bacon on it. So let's give it a try. Oh my goodness, wow. This is amazing. The biscuit is so tasty and the mayo on it is so good. Mm. This drink I got here is a vegan beverage and they also have vegan sandwiches like a chicken po' boy and the vegan sausage egg and cheese. And also just a side note, the people at Comfortland are super nice. I've gotten a bunch of stickers from there before, so highly recommend. <laughs> When in New York, you need to get a slice of pizza. So I'm getting pizza for lunch. Here we are at Bellucci Pizza in Astoria, one of my favorite pizza spots. It just opened in early 2021 and I am in love with it. The ingredients are super fresh and delicious and they have anything from new takes of old favorites or totally unique new slices like the vaccaroni. At around $5 a slice, you're gonna be like, what? that much for za but trust me it is so worth it and to my vegan friends they do have vegan pizza i haven't tried it yet but maybe in another video okay let's go in okay the big reveal oh it looks so good yes there was an influx of Greek immigrants into New York City and they settled predominantly in Astoria. So we of course needed to have Greek for dinner. So here I am at Gregory's 26 Corner Taverna. They are serving up all the best traditional homey Greek foods that you dream of. Here I have a cold appetizer with pita, kalamata olives, and different spreads. So I got the cold appetizer and the grilled octopus. There are so many other traditional Greek dishes to get, like chicken slovaki, feta, hummus, and more. Chip 
to Lucky Charms and Red Velvet Cheesecake, Chip City has something for everyone. They rotate four cookies every single day. So when you come next, there will always be something different. Each cookie is $4 and it feels like you're eating an entire meal. You get so full from eating them. They are so big. Oh, she's gooey. is have a nice cocktail. Sweet Afton is a great place to go in Astoria for a nice creative cocktail that is sometimes better than a fancy Manhattan bar. The inside of the bar was designed by Chris Moran, who is the set designer for Wes Anderson's movie Moonrise Kingdom, and yeah, I can totally see it. The bar is also owned by the same people that own Manhattan bars The Wren and The Bonnie. However, this is a much more relaxed bar on the other side of the river. I really recommend the vodka strawberry hibiscus infused she's the one drink it is delicious and sweet so if you're into that highly recommend also i was just into an aperol spritz today so they have a fun take on the aperol spritz right now called the spritz carlton so much guys for watching this video. I am seriously in a food coma now. Be sure to like and comment what food you would try in this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for the best food in New York City part two and other New York City videos.